Hey, hey, you guys, long time no see. Happy vlog, it's been a minute. Every time I pick up my camera and I'm like, this is the weekend I'm gonna vlog, I need to catch you guys up, something happened. Y'all know what happened last weekend? Black mold. You know, you only hear about this kind of stuff in like, other people. <laughs> so as much trauma as we endured when we gutted our kitchen, we gotta do it again with our master bath. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're doing it all over again. And I actually have lost track of all the stuff I need to update you guys on. So we're just gonna pick up from today and from this moment. We are actually heading out the door and something that I am terrible at doing is taking my vitamins every day. Anyone else? It's just one of those things where you know you need to and you forget. So before we get into all the weekend shenanigans, I did want to say thank you to Mary Ruth's Organics for sponsoring this weekend vlog. All right, you guys, I heard about Mary Ruth following, uh, you know, how do you find out about most things these days? Online, right? Like everything is online. That's how, you, that's how you learn about new products. That's how you try new things. That's how you figure out maybe I haven't been doing things the right way. So let me, let me talk and do. Talking and doing y'all. Uh, we actually have an appointment in a little bit to get a tiny tattoo, but we'll get into that in a minute. So three out of four children in this household are neurodivergent. I'm the adult in this household that's neurodivergent. And one of those fun perks that comes along with it is sensory issues or forgetfulness or being scatterbrained. And so it just becomes one of those things where it's conveniently forgettable. So I actually heard about Mary Ruth's multivitamin liquid and the elderberry from Madalie. She's sort of like a crunchy mom that I follow on Instagram. I love the stuff she posts about, but it also kind of plants a seed as to, oh, could I be doing something differently? So I tend to forget taking my vitamins, and I, I'm not being honest, uh, I, I do because I have an alarm. And uh, if I'm busy and I switch off my alarm, sometimes I truly forget. And when I remember, I'm like, well, you know, there's a good reason not to. For me, just sometimes swallowing is not my favorite. So you know, you get to a point where you're an adult and you gotta make good decisions and you do them to set an example, you do them to give yourself a happy life, a healthy life, to, I don't know, promote your well-being within your entire family. That's kind of a big deal. You know, you're not just responsible for yourself. While I'm a huge advocate for vitamins, I've talked about it a lot on my channel. It's one of those things that you gotta switch it up. You gotta try things at work. And if you have a lot of ages in your household, finding something that can include all your family is actually kind of super helpful. So I wanna share with you guys the products from Mary Ruth's that I have been trying, have been loving, and they have actually fell perfectly into place, replacing other stuff in like my vitamin routine, like probiotics. Listen, if I don't have to swallow a big capsule or something that doesn't taste in a particular way, have you guys ever tried a vitamin that for the rest of the day when you burp, you're like, when did I? When did I eat so much fish? Because I, I don't remember. That is horrifying. Uh, swallowing big pills, the aftertaste, uh, I don't know, anything that even just tastes yucky. Flavor is so important. Smell, don't get me started on smell, because that's like the first way you taste things, right? So Mary Ruth's Organics is one of those brands that is all-inclusive, includes the whole family, majority of their products are organic, a lot of them come in liquid format, some of them come in a uh, process that's easier for you to absorb or digest, they're easier on the tummy. I think for me the selling point was like, hey, everyone in your family is included. So let me show you guys what I take, just me specifically, and uh, it's not advice, it's just what's been working for me, and I noticed immediately the difference when I started taking it, because there was no like, oh God, when my alarm would go off, like go take your, your vitamins, um, I, does anyone else set alarm for weird things? When my alarm would go off, it wasn't like a, oh God, I gotta go swallow a handful of pills, you know? Oh, where's my water bottle? Oh, is it ready to go? Is it nearby? Am I home? So anyway, 
This is probably the most common uh, product from Mary Ruth's. It's the liquid multivitamin. This is the strawberry flavor. It comes in a variety of flavors like raspberry as well. It has your multivitamin essentials. It also has really easy way to dose your family on what's appropriate or what is enough from your little guy in the family to, you know, the big daddy, the alpha in the family. I don't know why I said that because none of those things happen here. Mmm. So strawberry, you keep it in the fridge. There's no weird taste to it. You know what it tastes like to me? It tastes like a liquid um, fruit snack. That's what I, I was like, I couldn't think of the word. I'm like gummy bear, but not the candy one. The one you put in a lunchbox that makes you feel like you're not feeding your kids candy. It feels like a liquid, um, there I go again, fruit snack. That's exactly what it tastes like. So the strawberry one is definitely my favorite flavor. I've also really been loving the liquid probiotic because it has absolutely zero flavor and you just take two droppers, you squeeze them into your mouth and boom. Look, do any of you guys remember giving your parents crap when you were young? Sorry, does that make anyone uncomfortable? Make sure it doesn't touch your mouth, okay? So do you guys remember giving your parents crap like, oh God, what is it now? Your back hurts. Oh, you can't eat hot Cheetos because your stomach hurts. Oh, okay, you don't want to eat Chinese food because you get swollen and uncomfortable. Yeah. I remember my mom telling me a saying in Spanish that says, the way, the way you see me is the way you'll see yourself. It rhymes and it sounds very like Disney villain. And she is correct. You know, you get to a point in your life where you do need that supplemental health. You need that assistance to stay regular, to ensure that you have a meeting in the porcelain throne at least once a day. And uh, thanks Mary Ruth for being so, so intimate with me. This one is probably the product that I want to highlight and tell you guys like run and get it. Staying healthy is so important, especially if you work outside of the home, your kids are going back to school, so this is the mega dose vitamin C liposomal and it is so I only take half and you could see the viscosity this one's not loose it's almost like a really thick syrup it might it might become a problem because it tastes like a like a tang syrup did anyone else grow up on tang that was one of my first chores as a kid was like go make go make the tang so you do the little sneak taste. That's what it tastes like. It has that really tart orange uh, flavor to it. So good. I don't know. It was gonna take me almost 40 years to uh, be excited when I when I take my vitamins. Actually, do you ever get excited for that? I mean, I do now. <laughs> so if you guys have scoured social media and you've heard of this brand, it's for good reason. Most notably, their liquid uh, morning multivitamin is probably the one you hear about all the time or even the elderberry. I love that the formats are so friendly. You have liquids, you have gummies, you have, you know, like, you don't have to take this on a spoon like I did. That might not be some way that your child is receptive to, but you can throw it in a banana, like a strawberry banana smoothie. You can put it in juice. They're not gonna detect it because it already tastes so good and they don't feel like you're, you know, handing them a spoonful of medicine. This isn't Mary Poppins, you know? This is probably the product you've heard of the most, maybe even on Amazon. For me, the biggest discovery was this guy because it comes in this special Special format so the vitamin C is like kind of it's taking an uber called a liposome like a little a little sphere and the minute you ingest it your body is more likely to absorb it and digest it in a more friendly manner so I know a lot of us do mega doses of vitamin D Parker's one of those or vitamin C this is me and so oh that rhymed anyway so I wanted to share these with you guys if you guys have been on the fence trying to check out or you know getting getting on board with sort of a healthier routine for your family incorporating supplements and you're curious 20% off discount code it's not an affiliate code I am not making commission if you use the code coffee break however you will save 20% off your total purchase either on the Mary Ruth's website or on Amazon yeah like an Amazon promo code? I don't think I've ever used an Amazon promo code, so that's very exciting. So I will make sure to list these supplements in the description box below. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention this one. Nighttime multi-mineral. <laughs> 
So this is another product that I've been trying. I would say, you know, like if you want to stick to a basic routine where you got your multivitamin, you get your mega dose of vitamin C to keep you strong and healthy, free of that summer cold or feeling yucky with all the allergies, or need to stay, you know, hey look, GI health is so important. I was telling you guys the other day, I'm like, I didn't know I was gonna become one of those people that my migraine comes with a lot of bells and whistles, including GI problems, you know? So now I just go squirt, squirt, on the go, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And I'm like, oh God, I gotta go take a handful of pill, well, the worst. So this one is actually the coconut dream flavored nighttime that is also family friendly for all ages. It'll tell you kind of back here, the dosing, and it promotes relaxation, so important. Anyone else stare at their phone until they pass out? Not good. Um, sleep, bone health, and just overall wellness. So, I don't know, it's coconut flavor, so I was like, absolutely. I think they also have a pineapple. Yeah, there's options. Anyway, I'll make sure to leave all the information down below if you guys are interested in supplements for your family, something that's organic, something that's readily available. You know, you can order with Amazon. Hey, listen, that Prime Talks, you know what I mean? So Coffee Break will get you 20% off your purchase. Let me know if you've already tried it. Let me know if I'm missing out on something. They have so many categories, specifically for women, specifically for the men in your life. It's worth a peek. Anyway, I gotta run because I'm getting a tiny tattoo. Did I say that already? It is Friday. We are going to see Lisa Ohm. She is a super duper awesome, famous, popular, amazing tattoo artist, like makeup tattoo artist. The brows and the eyeliner and all that stuff, but she's recently started to do, I hate to say recently, but she also does the single needle fine tattoos. And uh, it's something that's always piqued my interest. And if you guys know me, I already have a tattoo, but I also come from a family that is not so welcoming to people with tattoos. So I guess you can say I'm the black sheep of the family. And it's funny because I don't see tattoos as art. Like I don't collect art. I don't seek out an artist because I want, you know, something on my skin that's like a, a beautiful collection of art. Do I care if someone does it? No, I think it looks amazing. Like the sleeves, I think they look beautiful. For me, uh, the times that I've sought out tattoos are really, really big moments in my life where I either overcame something huge, where something really huge happened to me, where I just really wanted to see through it. But because it was such an impactful moment in my life, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget it. So here at almost 40, having my midlife crisis, you know what, hey, my midlife crisis isn't an affair. It's not a red Corvette, and uh, it's not like big giant veneers. So <laughs> it's a single needle tattoo that's gonna remind me of the incredible, really difficult work that I have done in therapy for years then uh, I think I'm okay with that. Not to mention it fades in 10 years, so there's that. Do you guys wanna come along? All right, yesterday I uh, went to a Charlotte Tilbury event, so that was super fun. I took some footage, I'll definitely share that with you guys. Tomorrow, Saturday, baseball practice, Sunday, I don't know. The two things that I wanted to talk to you guys about are your wellness, so important, and uh, my little tattoo. So are you guys ready? Let's, let's you wanna jive? I'm really trying to stay positive, because uh, our, our beautiful baby dog isn't doing very well right now. She's uh, laying around here somewhere and, uh, you know, I have a really figured out healthy way of handling my feelings, but I also am very self-aware of how much time I need to like to get there. And sometimes it takes me a minute to brush my hair. No, sometimes it takes me a minute to, to face it. And uh, right now we are loving and, uh, and caring for and, and making sure she feels happy and comfortable. And we'll address whatever we need to address probably in the next couple hours. <laughs> Once I come home and I can just whoo, move past this moment. I'm just trying to get past this moment. My dad, I spoke to my dad yesterday, it was his birthday and he said, well, you know, the good thing is it has a solution. And he was talking about the black mold in our bathroom. And I was trying to be, you know, like, I'm always a person that's trying to like, say the glass is half full, the glass is, I'm always trying to be optimistic. Something about my dad really disarms me. And I'm like, gosh, you know, the kitchen was so hard and Ernie's sick and uh, it's gonna be a long time. We're gonna have to move out of that bedroom because our bedroom's like on our way to the bathroom. And it's just, it's just oh, so front. And he's like, 
The good thing is it has a solution, baby. It has a solution. Worry when something doesn't have a solution. So we are here and we're finding solutions. And uh, I'm confident that today's gonna go exactly how it should because I took my vitamins. Just kidding. <laughs> Can we just go? Cause I'm gonna be late because I've missed you and I can't stop talking. And you guys are probably like, what in the world? Yeah, I know. Yeah, look at that. Hold on, actually, let me put this away. Wow. This is why I don't like to take vlog breaks. You know, I'm like, okay, yeah, I gotta embrace my life and, and be present and spend time with the kids. It's summer. And then I take a break to be present but then I realize how much I miss you and I can't stop talking. I'm gonna show you my dress. All right, look at this beauty. Look at those adorable sleeves. I know, right? It's long. The only thing I don't like is it kind of bows out in the middle sometimes and look at that. It's like, yep, yeah, oh, I'm in the second trimet. No, don't do that, don't do that. Look at how pretty this dress is. You're not gonna believe. You're not gonna believe what I'm gonna tell you. It's from Walmart, yep. Yeah, all I've been wearing, the dress I was wearing yesterday at the Charlotte Tilbury event, Walmart, my sandals, Walmart. Man, they've really stepped it up. From what I hear, they have like their fashion team or whoever's in like design and marketing or branding or whatever, like they pulled them from really, really big time luxury brands. So we have really beautiful collections. I like how I say we, like, you know, me and my homie Walmart. This is not sponsored by the way. Hey Walmart. So yeah, this is what we're gonna go do, and we're gonna get something probably right here. It's still I'm still on the fence, but I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking right there, my little chicken wrist. Yeah, that's it. You know what I think I'm doing? I think I'm delaying the inevitable. I don't chicken out, but I, I do delay. I do delay things. This appointment with Lisa has been rescheduled three times. I had a very serious conversation with myself where I said, you know what? If she rescheduled one more time, I'm just gonna cancel. It's not meant to be. It got confirmed and we're off. Guys! Okay, let's uh, turn this down a bit here. It is 100 degrees outside. We just got wrapped up. It's three o'clock. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, mom, just kidding. Don't stop loving me. So we're gonna have this little plastic film on top of it for about five days. She is so funny. She's like, it's gonna look gross and oozy and stuff's gonna come out. If the little, like the cover comes off, it's fine. Try to keep it on five days and then it'll all be nice and cute after the peeling and the this and the aquaphor and I'm like, yeah, gosh, I remember. Like even with like microblading or the tattoo I got, wow. I think I was 25, 24, 25 when I got my first and only tattoo. But yeah, she is uh, such a perfectionist, so much attention to detail, and it's almost to the point where she feels embarrassed. Like, oh my God, I'm sorry, but let me one more, one more time. Uh, let me just a little bit more, just a little, you know? And I was like, no, uh-uh, like you're the artist you do as many movements and retouching and filling in and gaps as you need to. I just sit here, move me around. I was like, just shove me around, move my arm wherever you need it. Just however, whatever it takes for you to like the final product. So it was a good experience. I was there for about an hour. I was gonna head home, but Mateo doesn't have pajamas. I don't know how that happens, but he has maybe two pairs of pajamas Everything else was like the winter stuff with the fleece and the long sleeves. And he texted me last night from upstairs. <laughs> and he's like, mom, I don't have pajamas. What do I do? And I was like, just put on, just put on clothes, you know, like put on some like athletic basketball shorts. It's not a big deal. And he was like, oh, okay. He's very like, if it's, if it's bedtime, I have to use pajamas. If it's dinner time, I have to eat dinner. If it's like, like he's my little robot relatable so he's like well I can't go to sleep unless they're actually pajamas like that's the thing so I am going to make a little detour on my way home and see if I can find him like a pair or two more of pajamas and uh, and then go home and then see what's going on I actually had this appointment since February and because Lisa doesn't live here uh, she comes every couple of months so we had to kind of move it around she rescheduled me for May and then again for July so I was like no if she reschedules one more time it's not meant to be like for me in terms of scheduling and stuff like that I don't take it 
personally, like, oh my God, that's so impressive. No, like you visit multiple cities every month to teach your courses, like her permanent makeup courses. I understand, you know, if you want to work me in, like it, she could have just canceled, but she really like tried to reschedule me and tried to reschedule and finally it worked out and so happy. I'm so happy to have met her and just, it was, it was a good, it was a good experience. I'm very happy. I, uh, I was trying to explain to her like where the idea came from and everything. And when I played her the video and I, I don't want to give her the backstory, you know, like, well, I was assaulted and I have trauma issues and I had, a, you know, a long marriage and it was this and that. Like, I didn't, I, I don't, it, there's not enough time. <laughs> I'm an overshare, but there's not enough time to go through that breakdown. I was like, you know, I've done years of therapy and I saw this video and the other tattoo that I've gotten, it just, it's just one of those things that when it happens, it happens. When I, when I get the idea, it has to happen. Originally she had placed the tattoo upside down and she's like, well, that's how most people get the tattoo. And you know, I kept looking at the placement of the stencil and I was like, something's wrong and I can't figure out what it is. Something's wrong, something's wrong. I stand up, I go look in the mirror and I'm like, it's upside down. And she's like, wait, what? I'm like, it's upside down. She's like, oh, most people do it this way. I'm like, yeah, because they get, they don't, they get the tattoo for others to see. Not for other people, but the placement is for like viewership, right? Like for me, I even had this concept of where I wanted to put it up on my like clavicle here, but inverse. So when I look at myself in the mirror, it looks the right way. Like that was, that was one of my concepts, but it's for me, like I want to see it. This is, this is my, this is my daily reminder to myself that you get put through fire and there's no quota or like limit of trials that God puts you through you don't you don't reach your goal of of trauma you don't reach your goal of, of of experiences if you want something good to come out of your life you got to get put through the fire you got to get forged you know you have to get put back on the anvil and get kicked out of you and uh you come out on top you come out and you come out better stronger and exactly the way that you're supposed to be and it could be so comfortable and so easy to say, woe is me, oh, this is tragic, so much crap happens to me, oh, I'm so unlucky. Or you could be like, okay, let me put on my running shoes. I'm ready. Let me get my water bottle, my running shoes, and uh, my mouth guard because I know, I know what's coming and, and it's hard, you know, it's hard. There's always gonna be something. There's always gonna be something that happens, something hard, something that you go through, something unexpected, something unplanned but brace for impact and embrace the lesson, you know, and that's kind of where we're at in life right now. I'm almost 40 and as self-aware as I am about who I am, I've also created a safety circle of people in my life that are allowed to tell me when something I do is wrong, something that I say is wrong, and having this willingness to hear it, to change, to receive it, you know, to be in a place of, of receiving, it's so important. So anyway, that's my little blurb. If you're wondering about the video, I think I've shown it to you guys before. I'll link it in the description box of this vlog, the video that I'm talking about, this man talking about being forged. And I uh, actually sent it to my co-parent. He's going through some stuff too. And it's just one of those things that I think if you share it and someone sees it and you're ready to see it and you're ready to receive the message, it'll change your life. So that's my little blurb for today. We're gonna go pajama shopping. Because as bad as I am that I just got a tattoo, I gotta go buy some pajamas for my child. Hashtag mom life. This is what we do. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. It's about eight o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you interested in seeing our black mold? Cause I'd be more than happy to share that with you. Actually, I can't share the actual black mold cause we have to take care of that but it's pretty tragic. So I'm not looking forward to gutting another part of our house. We bought a lemon, you guys, we bought a lemon. Get ready for it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Nice, steady, predictable leak. It's nice to have one consistent, predictable thing in this house, huh? Oh my goodness. Did you forget about this? 
I didn't. So it is Saturday, you know what that means? Another Saturday, another baseball practice. I am actually heading out early to do both practices, Daniel's and Mateo's. Parker has to do a coach's meeting after. We have to run some errands. You know what I don't wanna do today? I have to wash like 92, like 92 beauty blenders. I never thought I would be that person that like runs out of clean tools. But alas, here we are. I actually stayed awake last night probably until like 1 or 1.30, getting some work done. You know, we tried to do that cute stay at home mom vibe, but it's just, uh, it's not in the cards for me. Mama has to work. So I gotta get into some semblance of routine. And I think what that looks like or what that means for me, unfortunately, because the dogs and the boys both really need me, is uh, working nights again. Do you guys remember when I started YouTube? I would do my whole mom life at home and then everyone would go to bed and I'd start working at like 10. So I think that's, as much as I've resisted it, I think that's where we're back at. So we are going to go to, actually, you know what? Why don't we have a tripod and then not use it? Unfortunately, you're getting the double chin angle. So just pretend it's cute. I need a spoon. The sexy voice though. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'm not drinking coffee this morning. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that later, but I'm definitely gonna regret using this angle. <laughs> so, what was I telling you guys? Uh, baseball practice. Gonna go back to, gotta get back into a study stream of work. Mm. It's like eating, um, what's that word, fruit snacks. Why can't I remember fruit snacks? Like, I remember eating fruit snacks first thing in the morning. So, I thought instead of dragging you along with me to this double practice in the sun in 104 degree weather, what I could do is not talk with my mouth full and do a little rewind. I took a lot of footage. <laughs> Let me rewind that. I took some footage at the Charlotte Tilbury went, uh, went. I'm gonna have to rewind the intro of this vlog and then do it again. I took some footage at the Charlotte Tilbury event I went to on Thursday and I wanted to share it with you guys along with the goodie bag that they gave us. Can you believe it's been sitting there for two days and I haven't opened it? Because I want to open it with you guys. This is how, this is, this is the type of relationship we have. You know, like we do things together. So I haven't opened that. I want to share that with you guys. So I thought instead of having you sit in the scorcher with me and then run some errands after practice that I'll just do a little instant rewind and show you guys what happened on Thursday. Especially because there was a lip reader there. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Do you have something to add? What do you want to add? What's up? Do you want to talk about the lip reader? I don't think she can do your lips because I don't know if you have lips. So there's just little flaps. There's just little baby flaps. So the event was so luxe, but they had this, I don't want to say her name because I don't remember and then I don't want to be a They had a lip reader. So basically what you did is you took one of the new Charlotte Tilbury blotted lips, kissed a card, and then based on what your kiss looks like, she read your fortune. I don't know if I regret doing it or I'm excited that I did. That face wasn't because of this. This just tastes like water. <laughs> the face was because of what she said. It was crazy because she reads your lip and I was like, can I record you for my vlog? She's like, oh, sure. So she was saying like, you know, you have a big mouth and you talk to people. You love to use your voice. You're creative, whatever. You've never met a stranger. Everyone around you feels at home, whatever. Okay. Um, they say like the friendliest people are the loneliest. Maybe there's something true to that. I turn off my camera and she goes, I didn't want to say this while you were recording. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> don't do that to me, Susan. Yeah, it was pretty intense. You know, when you're kind of in this life, for me, big life decisions happen every seven years. It always happens every seven years. It's like almost to the week that something major happens every seven years and I'm due for mine between now and mid-October. So, <laughs> okay, that's kind of a big window, but you know what I'm saying. So between now and mid-October, there's, there's a big decision that I've been kind of juggling with and struggling with and struggling with, and it's one of those things where it's like, I know what I wanna do, I know what I have to do. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're not. And talking to her, I was like, I even talked to the event coordinator. I was like, what, did you get your lips written? Did she read your lips? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, well, something's happening there. 
She's like, I promise? I promise we didn't give her our guest list in advance. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Cause even if you had given her a guest list, it's not like, it's not like she has a guest list to my soul. <laughs> Anyway, I'm talking a lot. I'm going to be late to Daniel's practice, but um, I'll do a little fast forward action here so you can see how amazing Charlotte Tilbury events are. I've been to several beauty events and Laura Mercier, Charlotte Tilbury events, that's another level. It's like walking into like 1950s Hollywood Neiman Marcus, you know, like, like that. I don't, I, I don't know. I would imagine. <laughs> person that can meet and talk to just about anybody. However, it's not just that she can talk to anyone, it's that she makes connections. We could put her <laughs> at a bus stop in the middle of the city or the mansion at Turtle Creek and either place she's going to make friends yes. and connect I mean, with people. So that's what, it, when somebody has got a really loving heart, they tend to be connected oh. in the world. So this is a beautiful kiss and thank you for oh, letting me read thank it. Thank you. How can we find you? Oh, I'm at Pucker Up Impressions, and you can follow me on Instagram at Sunny That Rock Lady. Oh. And also read crystals. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. It's about 3.30, and uh, I think I'm all sunned out, all errand out, all everything out. So we are home, showered, I got some work done, and the work continues. I have to clean my makeup brushes, and I also have to wash all 97 of my beauty blenders. And uh, we also have to address an elephant in the room. So, let's see. How can we get started on this? Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna make this the highlight of the, uh, of the vlog. So, as you guys know, Ernie was diagnosed with carcinoma a while ago. We did some surgeries. Do I even have cinema secrets? <gasps> Hold please. Of course I have cinema secrets. I'm a hoarder. Okay, uh, so yeah, she was diagnosed with carcinoma. The prognosis wasn't very good. They told us she'll make it to July if we're lucky. Cancer is not gonna be what takes your puppy. It's gonna be the other stuff that happens because of the cancer. Uh, most likely something GI related. So for the last, no, you would think I'd be ready to do this, but this is how my brain works. So when I prop you up, like I gotta, gotta be ready to go. So for the last 48 hours, Ernie hasn't eaten. And the beginning of the 48 hours was excessive vomiting. Uh, Cinema Secrets, this is a really good like spot cleaner for your brushes, for brushes that, you know, you don't really need to wash, like deep wash. So my powder blush, brush, my powder brush, my blush brush, 
any of my cream brushes for um, blush and highlight, my concealer brush, sometimes my powder brush, not very often. I don't use this guy as much, so I don't like to wash him that much. My powder highlight brush, and sometimes my foundation brush. Those always get the deep shampoo, but my eyeshadow brushes, rarely get a shampoo. I think I shampoo them maybe once a year, but I clean them with Cinema Secrets pretty often. So this is kind of hygroscopic liquid. It's so cool. I have a video on it. I think I'll just link it for you guys. But if you place the brush in the liquid, you'll see it just kind of, you just dip it barely and boop, it soaks it up. And then you take that brush on a towel, like, I know, right? Witchcraft. So anyway, carcinoma, stage four, terminal. Cancer's not gonna take our baby. It's gonna be complications of the cancer. So anyway, about two days ago, uh, overnight, she vomited all night, all night. She would not stop vomiting. And obviously your number one concern is, is she gonna get dehydrated? Ernie's always been food motivated. So it doesn't matter how sick she is. If there's food around, she's gonna wanna get all over it. So for two days, she hasn't eaten and it doesn't matter how we entice her, what we give her, what we offer her. And so naturally I, you know, I'm worried because it's basically exactly the way that the doctor described it to us. So she's been pretty bummed out. She's been lethargic. Luckily she's drinking water. Just one of those things where I've avoided confronting. I know it's going to be a big, it's gonna be a big trial for me. It's gonna be big because I'm used to having four dogs and each of these dogs are a huge healing, they're a huge part of my healing journey. You know, I've told you guys how each of them have taught me really incredible lessons and you know, stuff that other humans in my life that took me for granted or don't appreciate or have, have swindled. And these dogs, man, they, they show up. So it's kind of hard for me to, to really face it, to, to get to a place of okay. So of course, after two days of feeling really yucky and sick, I'm kind of freaking out. I call the vet, I'm like, hey, you know, it's Ernie's mom, they already know it's me when I call. I'm like, you know, she's terminal and it's not looking good. Is there anything we can do? And I was like, you know, I hate to freak out and just assume the worst. I want to assume the worst so I'm prepared, but at the same time, I'm like, what if she just ate something? What if she has a bug or like some virus that's going around and I'm freaking out for nothing and stressing myself out and obviously stressing out the dogs. I, I said, is there anything we can do? What do you think? She's like, well, you know, why don't you pick up an appetite stimulant? I'm like, is that a thing? She's like, pick up an ap appetite stimulant. We'll give you some emergency room food. It's like this super high caloric, basically treat food that comes in a tiny little can and try it out and see what happens. Regardless, we want to see her. So why don't you bring her tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. I was like, for real? Like you guys work Sundays? She's like, well, we don't work Sundays. We have certain cases that we have to see. So why don't you just drop her off and we'll check her out. So praise Jesus that that is a possibility. And we're not going to take it too far until we have something tangible. I came home and I gave her the appetite stimulant and the food, the little canned food, and she just devoured it. But obviously it's like this much food and her tummy's like, she's thick, you know? She's like our mama, she loves to eat. So I gave her that, she gobbled it up, but she's still sad, you know? And, and seeing her that way when she's not that type of dog, it's pretty upsetting. So I'm just kind of trying to stay busy and focusing on work and, and just really trying to get into a routine of intentionally busy, not busy, intentionally busy. Stuff that actually is important, needs to get done and, and getting in some sort of routine instead of just trying to stay busy. You know, if I wanted to stay busy, I'd be like, let's go to the mall. Just kidding, I hate the mall. So we cleaned our eyeshadow brushes. Look at that. And the, the cool thing, well, another one of the cool things about this fluid is that it evaporates like almost instantly. So if I pour too much into the bowl, I walk away, I come back, it's like empty. I'm like, oh crap. The rest of the stuff where you're going to take into my bedroom and scrub and wash and dry and hopefully they'll be ready to go for tomorrow. My face brushes take hours to dry. Anyway, so all of that spiel about Mern is just to kind of update you guys because 
I do get the, hey, we haven't seen Mern in the vlog. And as much as I don't want you guys to worry, I guess there's a bigger worry that I could create by not showing her. <laughs> do you see her though? Donde esta mi mi vida? Mamamas! Cochinada! Man, pinche cochinada! Man, a cochinada! Bien! The older she gets, the meaner she is. She's like, I don't need you. You're not gonna tell me what to do. Don't talk to me like a baby. Bien! Mama, la mi mi vida, amiga, amiga! Hey, what's up? What's up, princess? Do you have your friends? Do you have your friends? I love you. Sophie. Why do you smell so good? Why do you smell so good? Hey, I met someone at the vet today. You want to hear all about him? His name is Rocco. And they fat shamed him. In public. So Rocco is this little black pug, but he has like black hair that's like shiny black. So cute. His mama was holding him like a baby, like on her hip. Like this, she doesn't like it. And they're like, okay, put him on the scale. And I'm like, in front of everybody? And so they put him on the scale and he he's, I think 17 pounds. Sorry, Sophia, Sophia's 12. And 17 pounds, and <laughs> the receptionist is like, oh, we're up three pounds. And I'm like, bro, we don't say that out loud. You wait until the patient's in the room, you know? <laughs> Common sense, everybody. Okay, so for my brushes, all I do is I wet them. I don't dip them, I don't soak them, I don't put them in a cup. Oh my God, I saw. <laughs> so this person that I follow, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, if you wanna share an idea, that's great. But I also believe in zapatero su zapato. That's a saying in Spanish that basically means like, if you're a shoe cobbler, fix shoes. And so her, it, okay, and then I just take the beauty blender fluid or whatever, I just put just a little bit, just a little bit, I put them sideways, I wet the brush, put them sideways, I just put a little drop of soap. I don't run the water, you know? I was gonna paint my nails and then I realized all of my brushes are dirty or all my tools. And with, you know, having access to that much water, it's just, it's not, it's not fun. So I'm like, okay, first I'll do my brushes. Then, uh oh, brush overboard. First I'll do my brushes, then I'll, then I'll do my nails. So it's just kind of one of those days. Anyway, uh, zapateros a zapato, you know, like stick to what you're good at. And she's like, oh, let me show you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. Don't soak your brushes in a jar of water. Like, <laughs> not if you want to keep them. I can't remember the last time, see? And I don't have the water running. That's a big, big trigger for me. I think it's because my mom used to be like, don't be a water hog in English, like broke English. So just a drop of soap. I put a little bit of water in this J Cat little tray thing. And then with whatever soap is on there, the little dollop that I put, then I just scrub and then I set it aside. And then I rinse them all at the same time. I mean, I can't remember the last time I've bought a new brush or that I've had to throw a brush away. In fact, I only remember losing a brush. Don't look at, how satisfying is this? All that blush coming out. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with my day of beauty hygiene. And, uh, and that's the update I wanted to share with you guys, you know, cause I don't wanna get the, hey, is there any okay question? She, we don't know, actually. <laughs> That's the right answer is we don't know. We're dropping her off tomorrow. We're... I swear to God, the cicadas, I don't even know if that's how you say it. Cicadas, they are so loud this year. They are angry. I think that's my soul, my soul animal. What is it, my spirit animal? That's my spirit animal, I'm a cicada. Like why can't I just sit in a tree all day and scream? Cause I would want to do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll take Marin to the doctor, we'll have some answers and I'll share them with you guys as soon as I know. But as far as today goes, I think this is all for today. I think this is it. We're gonna, <laughs> do you guys wanna see? Like how, how shameful is this? Look at, yeah, they're all dirty. But I guess it's, it's sort of my fault because I only like to use them once. I think if you use them more than once, I don't, I don't know. But I also don't, 
you know, I have pretty clear skin. So maybe if I use them more than once, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't wanna poke the skincare gods. Like we're good right now. And if that means I gotta wash all these beauty blends, I'm okay with that. I'm good, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I have these many beauty blenders. See, see, perspective. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. sound you guys the beautiful slurping sound yep that's the sign that we're on the right track good morning you guys and uh, good good news praise the Lord everything is going according to plan there was no plan there was just a plan for no tragedy Ernie got sent home she was there all day on Sunday and they basically said she doesn't feel good by tomorrow morning after everything we did it's not looking good it's you know part of the deal However, if she eats tonight like normal and she's back to her normal self, then you don't have to bring her back. And you know, it was just a fluke. It's a fluke, rather, a part of, a part of what's going on with her, a part of her terminal illness and all of that stuff, but manageable. Praise the Lord, that's what it was. Apparently dogs can get hepatitis. And uh, I forgot to end my vlog. I was like, wow, I was, first of all, I was consumed with the concern of my dog. And then I got super consumed with how excited I was that, oh my God, I'm so rude. Can you tell I woke up like recently? I don't usually sleep in this late. It's seven o'clock by the way. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and then I was consumed with the excitement that she's, she's feeling back to her regular self, which is it's what we want, especially if we're gonna go out of town for a few days. Like we wanna make sure that she is super shiny and and, and, and feeling good. I wanted to round up the vlog. Actually, this is why I can't. I used to be able to do, with, okay, you guys have to uh, uh, team up with me here. I used to be able to do like 47 things at once, but know exactly what those 47 things were, how much was left to, to, to do on those 47 things and uh, put them in order and just rock out, you know, like be able to do it so great. Now I can't even talk and do one thing at the same time because I don't remember what I was talking about. Listen up kids, don't grow up, it's a trap. And take your vitamins. <laughs> I forgot to end this vlog, so that's what we're doing here, but I need to prop you up because I can't. As much as I would like to say I used to have four arms, I never did. So don't forget, if you guys want to take advantage of Mary Ruth's Organics, 20% off your total purchase. <gasps> mm. Now you can with the code coffee break. I'll leave all the details to that promotion down below, how long it'll be, when it expires, all of those details. It runs on their website and oh wow, they don't sell brushes by the way. <laughs> it runs on their website and also on Amazon, which is super exciting. You know, if you have things to get for your house, like really exciting things like dryer sheets or Oxy, cause that's the kind of stuff that I order from Amazon. Then just add your supplements on there, use the code and save 20%. Mm. You have been meaning to, you know, kind of rev it up at home. Back to school's around the corner. A lot of us are gonna get our time back, our schedules back. This should be no different. So to be able to buy a supplement that you keep in your fridge that the whole family can enjoy, that tastes good, that is organic, um, I don't know. Sounds like an easy answer to me. Like, what's the catch, Mary Ruth? What's going on here? Anyway, all the details of the supplements that I use, like this probiotic, you guys, I swear, I'm like, it's just water, right? Because it just tastes like water. Okay, so liquid probiotics, zero flavor. You know what? Here's the thing is I think we grew up with a lot of parents that were like, do what I say, don't talk back. 
eat what's in front of you. And the new generation was so like scarred by being parented that way that now we're like, would you like to take your vitamins? Do you think you would like this one? How about you try it and taste it? But I think I fall somewhere in between, you know, somewhere in between where I'm like, okay, I get it. So a lot of us don't like eggplant. I'm not gonna cook eggplant anymore or whatever. That I understand. But you know, with things like vitamins, I'm like, it tastes good. And if I have to be a little deceptive and just like put a little bit of it in juice or a smoothie and they're not gonna know, you know, as parents, we do worse things. <laughs> and sneaking in some vitamins, that's not a bad thing. You know, this is for their own good. So, you know, may not be a boomer parent, but we care about our children just the same. I think that's the common denominator between parents is we love our kids the best way we know how. And if you have to sprinkle a little bit of Mary Ruth's in their juice or smoothie in the mornings, do it. I support you. <laughs> anyway, the supplements that I take, the details on the promo and all that stuff will be listed in the description box of this video. Don't forget to use the promo code coffee break, not affiliate, but will save you some money. And uh, what's the other thing? Anything we talked about, anywhere I went, anything I was wearing, as long as it's linkable, it will be linked in the description box of this video. Uh, and I think that's it. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. Ernesta Clementina. ¿Dónde está mi Ernesta Clementina? ¡Buenos días! ¡Buenos días, amor de mi vida! ¡Amor de todo mi corazón! ¡Eres el amor de mi corazón! ¡Amor de todo mi corazón! ¡Amor, amor, amor! ¡Yo te amo, amor, amor! ¡Amo perfecto! ¡Eres mi amor perfecto! I love you. I hope you know how much mama loves you. Yes, yes. I love you so much. I love you terribly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs>